one thing I'm assured of, when it's time to call my name, there will be a pause before it, and then there will be some stutter with it. But it is all right. There's no love loss between the two of us. Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Legacy Foundation, Mrs. Maureen Graham. Members of the Board of Trustees of Legacy Foundation. Chairperson and members of the Board of Directors of Project Discovery Incorporated. My colleague, Mrs. Michelle Maxwell, principal of the Springer Memorial School. Our chairman of the Board of Management of the Ellerslie School. Members of the Executive Council and Committee, I'm sorry, of Project Discovery Barbados. I've just renamed you and uh, named you. Project Discovery Bolt Team, the Technical Advisor, Mr. Adam Clark. President of the PTA Association of the Ellerslie School. Members of the alumni of the Ellerslie School. Other distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, students and colleagues, good afternoon to you. It is indeed a warm afternoon at the Ellerslie School. You are like me, enjoying the heat and suffering from the heat at the same time. It is indeed good to welcome you. And I take this opportunity to share with you a few thoughts that have come home through this process that we've gone through over the past few months. In our world where we have now to grapple with and deal with streams of information, instant feedback through things such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops, there's surely more that can be done and that has to be done to engage our students. And in order to effect this, we have to embrace these wonderful tools of communication, or as some of my colleagues will say, these nightmares of communication and information sources that we now have to become so familiar with that we take them for granted. But it's, it is like this common in everything, save education. And uh, this thrust that was implemented largely because of the COVID pandemic, unveiled a need for us to have connectivity connectivity that could adequately serve in the delivery of education to our students. The challenge was to harness and hone the tools to produce a truly competent digital native or digital citizen development. Development that focused on, and I've lost my paper in the process, as I was saying, development that would have focused on technical literacy, critical thinking skills, just to name a few of them. Not to mention as well too in their dealing with this technology that if you're in my age group, it is a constant relearning. Here at the Ellerslie School, we have determined that our mindset is about how we do education. So we have tried wherever possible to be pioneers in our attempt, in our application and in our strategies when it comes to the education of our nation's children. Thus, this partnership program between Project Discovery and Legacy Foundation is one that we deem to be of paramount importance. It offered an opportunity and it continues to offer an opportunity to provide a quality of connectivity not previously in existence in our school here at the Ellerslie, and I'm sure that would be the tune that would be echoed for other educators in other secondary institutions. It therefore gives me great pleasure as the principal acting at the Ellerslie School to be at this juncture in our educational journey. This is a relationship that I believe it has far-reaching positive consequences towards the growth, the development, and the give back from foundations such as Legacy. It has provided an opportunity for a youth service where our nation's children can participate in projects such as Project Discovery. Our children, our students are now actively involved in problem solving on a wide scale outside of the classroom. 
and they become part of the solution. Thus, this partnership, we are able to say, offers a development of a digital literacy that our students would not enjoy without the support that comes from corporate Barbados and from charities such as Legacy. To be a part of this nexus of, nexus of development, it is needed at such a time for the paradigm shift that is needed in education. It therefore gives me pleasure, and I speak not only on behalf of the Elders School, but I also speak on behalf of my colleague, Mrs. Maxwell, at the Springer Memorial. We are both beneficiaries of this, and we are grateful for this attempt that has been made, these efforts that have been put in, this level of connectivity, and as we welcome you here this evening, as we commence this journey, or as we continue this journey, let me just say we celebrate in this success that has been achieved and that will be achieved even further in terms of the level of connectivity that we are able to do and the expansion that we are able to give as we execute and as we operate within the realm of educating our nation's children for the 21st century. So once again, welcome to you. You are now an ex-officio member of the Ellerslie family. Welcome to you. <laughs>